Good morning, so I've not done a daily vlog for a really long time and I know that a lot of you guys have actually really been missing my vlogs and that they were like your favourite videos. I've had so many messages saying please do a new vlog, I'm missing them. So I thought I would do it. Before this video starts, I do just want to say thank you so much to Sand and Sky for sponsoring this video, but I will talk a little bit more about that later. So I've been up for about an hour now, I'd say. Lou just left and went to work, so that is pretty much when my morning starts. I've already fed the dogs and everything like that, let them out to the toilet, tidied up a little bit, and now I'm going to head in the shower because my hair is in desperate need of a wash. I really like multitasking, and one of the things that I do is make myself coffee and drink it in the shower because that way I can drink my coffee while my conditioner is sitting in my hair and I don't waste any time. So, I'm fresh out the shower, I'm all washed, I'm all clean, my hair is all washed, feeling fresh, I've shaved everything, feels so nice, that fresh out of the shower feeling. Chef's kiss. I was actually going to redo my fake tan today because I've had this tan on for like over a week. It's been like a week and a half. But I was just looking in the shower and like it still looks really even. That's like blotchiness from the actual shower. I've got no like patchiness and it's not like fading anywhere. So I think it actually looks really nice. So I don't think I'm going to redo it today. So yeah, but I'll show you the fake tan that I use because this lasts so nicely. That is from my gluten allergy. Can you believe that? I get these huge rashes that are really sore and itchy all over me if I eat something with gluten in and that sucks so yeah if you're wondering what that is that's my gluten allergy that is honestly trying to kill me but I'm gonna go put a face mask on now while my hair is drying because like I said I like to multitask so I like to do multiple things at once and I just got out the shower and realized that Bentley here he is has learned how to open the back door and now I don't know if you can see this but there is mud all down the stairs like all the way down the stairs look at this oh my god and there is just a trail of muddy footprints all the way to the back door so i've just moisturized put my little robe on which i just think is so cute it's like a little vintage robe my hair's up in a towel and now i'm gonna put a face mask on so as i said this video is kindly sponsored by sand and sky which is a brand that i have been meaning to try for a really long time i recently discovered these products i've seen them literally everywhere and you probably have too and i finally tried these out and i understand the hype these products are probably one of the best products i have ever used on my skin and i literally saw results like that especially with the serum i put that on before bed I woke up the next morning and I was like, oh my god, my skin looks incredible. My skin had never looked so glowy. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my skin really quickly and tell you some of the things that I struggle with and what these products have been helping me with. So first off, my skin, I went through like a battle with my skin to get it calmed down and get rid of all of my acne. I've pretty much done that. I get the odd blemish when it's around my period. You can see that I've got two here. Um, they're not really there, they're kind of dried up because I had my period last week. So they're just kind of residuals from my period. That happens every single month. It's just a hormonal thing. But other than that, I always have clear skin. I always have clear skin, as you can see. And I don't know if you can see right now, my skin is glowing. Like I have no product on right now. I've just got out the shower. And it used to be the case that I'd shower my skin just felt so dry and like crispy and crackly and look at it it's literally glowing my skin is glowing so once I cleared up all of my acne I kind of felt as though my skin was clear but it just didn't look nice like I didn't have any blemishes or anything like that all of my scarring is pretty much gone but my skin didn't look nice it didn't look healthy it didn't look glowy and I used to see people on Instagram and their skin naturally would would do this you see that glow and I was like why isn't my skin doing that so what I started doing was looking for products that would make my skin look glowy, look really hydrated, look like, like it was kind of, like I had a glow from within. Even without makeup, I wanted my skin to look glowy. And these products have literally done that for me. I wanted to keep them in the packaging as well to show you guys in this video because the packaging is so cute and I, I just I appreciate really nice packaging. So the face mask that I am using is the Australian Emu Apple Face Mask. I hope I'm saying that right. This is their Super Bounce Mask and it's supposed to make your face like glowing and look really plump, which is exactly what I wanted and exactly what it does. I should tell you a little bit about the ingredients because I am big on ingredients in skincare and these are some of their like main ingredients in this product. So first off, to help with the glowing, they have the Australian Emu Apple and Glowberries, Super Antioxidant Charge Glowberries, they scavenge free radicals to combat aging, boost brightness and reactive hyaluronic acid production for a lit from within glow. 
that's just what I just said. My skin looks like it's glowing. Next, to brighten your skin, they use the world's richest source of vitamin C, which is Cocada Plum, which packs a punch in breaking down pesky pigmentation and brightening the skin. 100%, I can 100% agree with that. And then to plump your skin, they have a cutting edge hyaluronic acid blend that brings back the bounce to your skin, providing instant long lasting hydration. It penetrates multiple layers of the skin to reduce fine lines and improve elasticity. Obviously one of the main reasons why your skin wrinkles and you get like age lines and stuff like that is because of the elasticity in your skin. You might have noticed that some women when they have a baby, they get really, really bad stretch marks all over their stomach and some women don't have any. Hello, editing me just popping in here with a little note. Um, I wanted to just change my wording that I'm using here because as I was watching it back, I realized that it was actually insensitive and an incorrect thing to say. So when I'm saying that women can get pregnant, people can get pregnant, it doesn't just mean women. People born with the female reproductive system get pregnant. That is what I'm trying to say. My brain just automatically says women because, you know, drilled into you from childhood. So when people get pregnant, some may get stretch marks, some may not. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you. And that's usually because they are hydrating their skin. They're using products like hyaluronic acid that is like hydrating it and adding elasticity to your skin. So that is how you avoid stretch marks and wrinkles and stuff like that by having elasticated skin by keeping it hydrated which is what hyaluronic acid really really helps with it's like a really good product to prevent aging and then to make your skin feel softer they use jojoba oil which i'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about it's an amazing product that just really keeps your skin feeling really smooth and hydrated and just like locks in that moisture so yeah now that you know all about the ingredients i'm gonna pop this on i honestly love this and the packaging let me show you so you just lift this thing and then inside it's like a little like present and you pull the little ribbon and it comes out and you get a free brush with it which I love because I think sticking your hands in products repeatedly can kind of get a bit gross you know what I mean like I think it's best to use um, a little brush like this and it's a silicone brush so it's so easy to clean this is what it looks like it's really bouncy like it's kind of like jelly it makes it so easy to apply as well like you don't need to go wash your hands after you've done it you can just get on with whatever it is you're doing there we go i'm all masked up and i'm just gonna leave this to sit for like 10 minutes ish while i dry my hair but yeah i love this face mask i find it really hard to find face masks that actually work like a lot of the face masks i use i feel like i put it on and my skin doesn't look any different in the slightest after i take it off like there's there's no difference it doesn't feel different it doesn't look different i feel like i've just sat there with something on my face for 10 minutes for like no reason especially sheet masks i feel like sheet masks dry my skin out rather than hydrate it i take them off and my skin just feels like tight and like not just not the best i don't i don't know maybe it's just me before i forget i just want to show you the fake tan that i use so i use the coco and eve sunny honey um fake tan in the shade dark i really like this it lasts so long as you can see my fake tan is like not patchy in the slightest and i've been wearing this for over a week so i was gonna put it back on today but i honestly i don't even i don't even need to like it still looks great i still look glowy and everything it's just really nice so i'm gonna let this sit for a little bit while i dry my hair and then i will get back to you and show you my skin okay so the face mask is all off now my skin literally feels so soft and just like juicy like it feels like a little peach um i'm gonna go make myself a smoothie for breakfast before i finish doing my hair because i am dying right now i'm so freaking hungry i didn't eat much yesterday because i made dinner and i really bad cook and it just tasted so gross that i didn't eat it and i was so busy that i didn't eat like lunch and stuff which is honestly horrendous like so bad um so yeah i'm gonna go make myself a smoothie because i am starved also i got a new pair of jimmy chews yesterday that i'm gonna show you um, they're vintage. I don't even think they're sold anymore, which I'm like that excites me for some reason the fact that like They're rare. I don't know. I love that um, But I'm gonna show you how I make my smoothie right now because it is the bomb. It is the bomb I'm Start off with like half a glass of soya milk Then we're gonna use some Alpro um, soya strawberry yogurt just like a little bit Maybe like two tablespoons worth I would say. I don't usually do this but I got this fruit salad yesterday and I didn't eat all of it so I'm just going to put some mango and strawberry raspberries and blueberries in out of this fruit salad because I don't like wasting things. Then I'm going to pop in a small banana. This is definitely very ripe. It's literally black. Now I'm going to pop some cherries in. These are really good. And then I'm going to put a little bit of avocado in. Then I just stick in some peanut butter. This is one I use from Active Foods. It is a smooth roasted peanut butter and it is like 100% natural. There's no added like salts, sugars, anything like that. Like so. And then I'm going to put some honey in there. 
Oh, I can never open this. It gets so sticky. Oh my god. Come on, where are the lesbian jeans? Oh. And then I just free pour my honey, maybe like two teaspoons worth. Just a reference, this movie is about 400 calories. They are all really healthy calories. It is literally just protein and fruits with a little bit of honey, soy milk and water. It like couldn't get healthy. You couldn't have a better breakfast. Okay, my hair is all dry, finally. It takes me so long to do, honestly. It's like a marathon. But I'm about to start doing my makeup and I'm gonna be using my Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops. This has very similar ingredients to the face mask. I like to give it a little shake before I use it to make sure everything's mixed up really good. So I don't know if you're gonna know what I mean when I say this, but have you ever used a moisturizer underneath your makeup that just makes your makeup look really crappy or have you ever used one that makes your makeup look 10 times better? So what I've been struggling with at the minute is I have been using this moisturizer from Charlotte Tilbury every day, morning and night. But before I do my makeup, if I put it on, it makes my makeup look really oily and it kind of collects like around my like eyebrows here. Like it gets really like cakey and gross. And I've been looking for a product to put on in the morning underneath makeup that just leaves my skin looking really beautiful. I don't wear foundation, so like having even and clear skin and glowy skin is really important to me because I just wear concealer. I don't cover up the entirety of my skin, so I need my skin to look good. And I've been really struggling to find a product that makes my skin look glowy and hydrated, but doesn't make me look oily. This is that. This is amazing, I will show you. It has like a little pipette, which I think is so cute. And also you get so much in this bottle. Like honestly, I've never had a serum with so much in there. So I just put this on in the morning before I do my makeup. I use it at night as well sometimes, but I love it underneath makeup because it just makes my skin look so beautiful. And then I'll just rub it in with my fingers. And it just makes my skin look so glowy. Like you can literally see it instantly. Do you see that? Glowing, glowing queen. And I mean, I used this before bed last night, so I'm sure you guys could see the glow this morning when I was vlogging but it just makes the biggest difference and it makes my skin feel really, really hydrated and just really gorgeous without making it feel oily. I just love it. It's like one of my favorite products that I've ever used. And underneath makeup, this is like amazing. It doesn't make your makeup separate. It doesn't make it like shine off your face. You know when you use a moisturizer and it gets so greasy that your makeup starts coming off? This is just absolutely perfect. I do it down my neck too because I do not want a wrinkly neck. But yeah, that's the serum. I really love it. I've been using it every single day and I just love the way my skin looks. I mean, look at my skin now. It's just literally glowing. It's It looks so healthy. It looks so glowy. I mean, if you were on holiday and you had a tan and like freckles and just look really beautiful and then put this on, I think you wouldn't even need makeup because I'm pale right now and my skin looks, I mean, you can see on camera, it's literally glowing. I love that. This is literally amazing. This combo is literally incredible. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go check it out because... I love this stuff. I'll definitely be repurchasing. And this, I wish I found it sooner. <laughs> oh my God, I use it every single day. And my makeup has been looking literally incredible and so like natural and not cakey and just like kind of like a second skin. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sun Sky, for making these products. I'm grateful. So I thought I'd give you a little update on me uh, while I'm doing makeup because, um, well, I don't really have a chance throughout the rest of the day. I've got quite a busy day. It's a bit of like an errandy day. I've been like replying to emails and stuff like that in between filming, but obviously that's so boring. I mean, a lot of the stuff with like my marketing business, I can't really show because one, it's confidential. And two, it's like just a computer screen. It's just me sat at the computer, typing away, making ads, replying to emails, replying to texts, stuff like that. So it's not really stuff that would be entertaining for you to watch, like in the slightest, would it be entertaining for you to watch? Cause it's literally just me sat at a laptop, making ads, editing ads, uh, making audits, stuff like that. So it just would, it would not be entertaining. Yesterday I had such a lazy day and I totally fell off the bandwagon because I've been doing so well with like working out and making sure that I'm eating healthy. And honestly, I have not been looking after myself properly in lockdown. Like I just haven't been working out the way I used to. I used to work out for like at least an hour every single day and now I'm kind of lucky if I, and I mean I do walks, I go on three 20 minutes walks a day which is like an hour of exercise in total 
but I mean actually taking time to do actual workout like Pilates or like yoga or like an ab workout something like that or skipping I just haven't been doing and honestly working out makes me feel better like literally mentally makes me feel better because it's just some time that I'm not really thinking about anything else I'm just focusing on what I'm doing and I just haven't been doing it and I've definitely been noticing the effects of that one um like massively so I need to just get back on it I've got some orders to return from ASOS that I've been meaning to do for like two weeks so I really need to take them back and then I've also got an order from Zara that I literally placed like probably two or three weeks ago and it was supposed to be like two day click and collect and they've only just got it in store so I'm going to go get it now. I can't believe how long I was waiting, I literally thought it was lost, I was like I'm never getting this package. So yeah, I'm gonna have like a million things to unbox with you because I've got my new Jimmy Choo's that I wanna unbox with you. I've got a package from my Teresa that I wanna unbox with you. I've got my Zara order. I've got an ASOS order coming today. I've just had another package come that I think is from House of CB. So my makeup's all done. I'm all dressed and ready. I'm trying this little white jumper from H&M. Um, a necklace from Ana Luisa. This scarf is actually from Primark. My uh, coat is from Hobbs. Levi jeans and then not sure where these shoes are from aldo maybe but let's head into town go get my package and then i can do some unboxings with you guys which i honestly cannot wait for okay i've just driven all the way into oxford i get to the Westgate, and i'm like i am pretty sure zara is closed on a wednesday because i'm sure i came another wednesday to get a package and it was closed so i google it it's literally closed so i've come all the way into town for no reason but i am still going to show you when i do the little haul bit i'll just film the whole thing tomorrow and put it in this video because i know how annoying it is when someone says they're going to do something and then they don't so i will film the haul and still put it in with the clips of the haul stuff but i'll just look a little bit different maybe um and then i've ended up driving all around oxford i'm pretty sure i've gone down like three roads i'm not supposed to go down my maps are telling me to go down them but like honestly if you've ever been to england our road signs are so confusing like they are the most confusing like road signs you will ever see i'm currently on st clement street which i i think i know where i am right now but honestly i was just like what like what the f am i doing right now literally could not figure it out for the life of me oh shit and i'm in the wrong lane Oh my god so i'm heading to the post office now to return my packages i do not know where i am i hate not knowing where i am it's the worst like i just hate not knowing Ooh. that bus was like right near me i thought i was gonna die then many cherry blossom trees around here like literally so many so pretty like the roads are filled with cherry blossom trees which is so cute i love that okay so i've just got home so let's sit down and open some packages together oh this is rosie if you haven't seen her yet hello Mwah. Mwah. she smells like cheese all the time don't you darling you're a cheesy face girl mm. she's so sweet the cutest what should I start with? I'll start with my Teresa because I have actually opened this one already uh, but I wanted to do like an unboxing in this video because I know you guys love them. So I actually ordered some Castana wedges that look like this. They are beautiful. They are literally so gorgeous. I wanted to get them last year but I couldn't find them in stock in my size anywhere. They seem to just like completely sell out this year. So I've been looking and I thought you know what it's coming up to summertime I'm going to treat myself. They're £100 and I know you might be thinking like how can wedges be any different in quality or anything like that it's kind of like an entry level designer i would say but they are beautiful the quality is so lovely i've had so many pairs of wedges in my life and these are by far the nicest they're just beautiful they fit so well i got them in a size 36 and i'm like a size 4 for reference next up i've got some jimmy Choo's. these are actually vintage which i'm so excited about because i saw these and i was like oh my god they look like butterflies like they look like butterflies on your feet oh my god they are beautiful so this is them they are gold with like sparklies on the front and i got these as like an early birthday treat i think i'm gonna get another pair of like the classic style like the um the jimmy Choo like yvette i think are the ones that i want or the lance ones ones with the heel that isn't massive because i'm not the best at walking heels but these are beautiful they are literally the fact that they're vintage baffles me because 
on the site it said that they'd only been worn like one or two times which is great and the quality is amazing there's like no marks on them the heel is like in perfect condition and I just love the fact that you can't really buy these anymore and like they're kind of like a rare shoe to have like if you search the name of these which is the melody um you can't see them anywhere online it's so hard to find but they are stunning I literally love them they're so pretty and I think I'm gonna wear them on my birthday not that I'm doing anything but I still want to get dressed up so yeah next up I have my birthday present from Lou and you might be thinking oh my god why are you opening it so I got this dress from House of CB she asked me what I wanted for my birthday I said I don't know there's a few dresses that I like the look of and she was like I'll get you one of them so I ordered like the yellow florally yellow dress from House of CB I'll put a picture on screen ordered it loved it thought it was so beautiful lovely and before i ordered it i checked the sizing because i've never bought from house of cb before i've never owned anything from there so i checked the sizing it said that an extra small is a 21 to 26 inch waist and a what was it 31 to 36 inch bust i'm pretty sure so i thought that the bust was like here like how you measure your bras and I was like, well, I'm like a 32 in a bra, so that's definitely going to fit me, and I know what size my waist is. So I order it, I get it, it comes in, I'm zipping it up the back, it zips up here, it zips up here, it zips up here, it zips up here. As soon as it gets to my boobs, which I guess is what the actual, like, I guess the bust for them is like actually around like the middle of your boobs, would not zip up, would not fit. And then we tried to do an exchange, and they didn't have the same dress, so I was like, oh. <laughs> But yeah, just a note for sizing, I'm usually a UK 6. Can you hear that dog? This is constant, all the time. So yeah, I just wanted to give you that little note for sizing because I am a UK 6, I'm an extra small in every other clothing brand, but this one did not fit me around the bust area. It just did not. Hello, you stop barking. So this is the dress that I got instead because the yellow one was out of stock when we did the exchange. I'm crossing my fingers that this fits me and that it's not too small again or too big or whatever because my birthday's really soon and Lou's getting stressed out that I won't have a gift. So this is it. It looks so beautiful. This is, I'm so, actually, you know what? I'm so glad I got this one. It looks so pretty. It looks like really, really nice quality. It's a linen dress, which I just think is the cutest. I think I might have to wear a slip underneath it because obviously it's white and linen, so it might be see-through. I'm gonna try it on in a minute and see how it fits me. Lastly, I have some stuff from ASOS. So let's open all this. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Oh, sorry for the shock. This was purple, like a mauvey purple online. And I was like, oh, I don't like the color, but I like the style. That is not the same color. That is like cream. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. I love that. That is literally adorable. It's just like a little cute cami top with like lace around the edging. Oh my God, that's lovely. Then I got this, which is like a little, um, like a little cami top, I guess. Like a little tank top, cami top. I just thought it could be really cute with like some blue jeans in the summer or some blue shorts. You should see this top right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want a biscuit? She is so naughty. Do you want one? You don't just barge in. Gently. Good girl. So yeah, I just thought this cami could be really cute with like some jeans or shorts, just as like a really casual. She's trying to steal. Then I saw this and I literally almost shat myself. Like it is so me, it is so me. So I got this beautiful dress from Vila. I got it in a size 34. I don't know what that is in the EU. It looks a little big. Hopefully it's just one of those things that look really big until you put it on and then it looks right. The color of this I just thought was so stunning. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. The style of it is like Bridgerton vibes. I just, I loved it. So, so cute. Then I got these little white shorts. I saw them and again, I just thought they were really like relaxed looking and really chill looking. I just thought they were like really cool casual shorts just to wear with like a little cami or something like that if we're like walking the dogs or just going for like i don't know there's a farm like not too far from us you might have heard of the crazy bear hotel they have a farm too uh and that's not too far from us at all and we go there sometimes i thought like a day out there i could wear shorts like this they're just chill shorts rather than like dressy shorts and i don't have any white shorts this jumper makes you look like you've got like rolls even when you don't it's really weird it's like the weirdest thing ever then i got this little leopard print dress which looks adorable because apparently i don't have enough dresses uh but i just really like the look of this the shape of this i thought it could just be like a really nice casual 
dress with just like some black boots um just really simple to just wear for like a brunch or just like shopping or anything like that just a comfy dress to put on with like a pair of boots and i feel like you could really easily put some chunky biker boots on with that and really dress it down or you could put like heels with it and really dress it up dress which i really hope looks nice this gave me total karen millen vibes when i saw it on the website and it just looks like this it's like a little shirt dress with like the pleats and like a double layer ruffle the color of it is so gorgeous i think it's really cute and i just think with like some jewelry and like some maybe knee-high boots this could look so so pretty i just i love it i'm a fan so that is everything i got i'm gonna go try on my dress from lou for my birthday to see how i like it if it fits so it's me from the future unboxing my zara package honestly the drama i've gone through to get this bloody package is unbelievable i think this is the fifth time of trying to go and get it and i finally got it now oh pretty okay so you're gonna be thinking maybe maybe you'll be thinking what the hell as you're watching this because i've literally bought pretty much the same thing over and over again but my reason behind it is i don't have any tops i've got loads of dresses but i don't have any like casual tops or like chilled tops and i just thought you know what i need to get some because i've literally got like if i wanted to wear a casual outfit i don't know what i'd put on because i don't have one first thing i got was the nude zara bodysuit i love how this is nude then i got this i actually walked past zara this is what started the entire order i walked past and i saw this bodysuit in the window and i was like i need that so i ordered it online love that that was also 14.99 then I got this one, which is like a little um, halter neck, which I just thought was really cute. And this one was $14.99. <laughs> and then I got this one, which is this really pretty pink colour with a little halter. Thought it was really cute. Again, $14.99. Then I got it in like this brownie nude shade, which I really like. And then I got it in black. <laughs> so I basically just got a bunch of tops that are like essentials um that i just honestly needed some new tops and i know these are bodysuits but i really like that and even things like this i feel like i can wear that to the gym do you know what i mean with like black gym leggings and this i feel like i could like wear it in multiple ways so i just got a load of bodysuits um because i just thought you know what they're an essential i've got them in whites pinks blacks browns nudes i've got pretty much every single color you could have now so i just thought i would grab all of these to go in my jeans and stuff like that so yeah, that's what i got from zara hello so it's actually half past three now it is so dull and rainy like oh my god i can't believe how dark it is it's just like horrible we've got these lovely fairy lights in here how cute is this i ordered it um for was it our anniversary or was it valentine's day it was one of the two it was it was either an anniversary or it was for valentine's day i cannot remember which one but i'm trying to do some hula hooping because i have not walked the dogs today and i'm not gonna because it's so rainy and horrible they usually walked every day so don't worry about it um i've done quite a lot of steps today considering like i haven't really been anywhere so i'm happy with that but i just want to do a little bit of hula hooping just to get some exercise in my camera's dying so i don't know how much of this you're going to see but it's just <laughs> it's just hula hooping with a weighted hula hoop there's not much to it so then for the rest of the evening, um, we just pretty much chilled on the sofa and watched The Walking Dead because obviously there's not a lot else you can do considering it's lockdown. I did the washing up because Lou cooked and then we literally just had like tea and biscuits and went to bed. It was pretty uneventful. But thanks so much for watching and thank you to Sand and Sky for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys next Sunday with a new one. Bye!